so happy to have as my guest today my very dear friend Wendy Shane. Wendy is the owner of Wendy Shane Designs and the Petite Pochet Pattern Company. She is a regular contributor to So Beautiful Magazine and has studied and taught all over the world, but I think one of my favorite places that she has studied would be the Royal School of Needlework in London. Wendy, welcome to the show. Thanks, Martha. It's always great to be here. <laughs> I have to, with, with me today this little dress, and um, we're going to focus on the flower in front. This is a Lazy Daisy flower, and that's what I want to show you. So let's get started. Now um, I have on my hoop, I've drawn a circle with a smaller circle inside. And then if you notice, I have a, a, a cross hatch or uh, the four compass points drawn off on there. Now this is gonna help me position my petals evenly and accurately. So let's go ahead and get started with a waist knot. I'm gonna put the knot on top. Remember that rhymes, knot on top. Now anywhere around the inside of the first ring, you may tie on with a series of two back stitches. I have a lot of thread here because this is gonna take a lot of thread. I don't normally stitch with thread this long, but in this instance, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, two back stitches inside the area will be covered up by Lazy Daisy stitches, so don't worry about it. I'm going to come out at A, which is on the inside edge of the small ring. That's A. So I'm coming out at A, and I'm going to sew in at A. So you're sewing in and out in the exact same hole or opening. Now, holding on to your loop, emerge on the outer edge at the first compass point. And notice that I'm holding the loop in my hand, and I'm sewing through it. If I had let go or didn't do that, of course, the thread would have gone through the opening because we are in and out of the same exact place. Now to tack the stitch down, bring the needle up just beside the loop and then stitch down. And that's all there is to that stitch. Now the next thing I want to do, because I'm going to be placing petals all the way around, I'm going to go to the next compass point and do the exact same thing. This will allow me to evenly space my four central, let's call them central petals. And that will make it a lot easier to position the other ones. So if I get all my compass points in like this, and notice that I'm not doing the in and out stitch in one motion. Like I usually call that scooping. And I made up a little rhyme, as usual. <laughs> you never scoop when you work in a hoop. So you want to do it in two steps. That means in and out in two steps. All right, so you'll have your four points here. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to start adding petals within the first section. Now, the reason I'm doing this, remember, is so that I can get my petals evenly spaced. I just want to turn it slightly so that we can position the petals. Okay, so I'm going to add petals in this space as much as I can get without overcrowding it. Okay, now let me show you what this looks like once you get at least the first section done. Okay, so my next hoop is, this is what it looks like when I've completed the first section. So you see I have my, comp my four compass points, and then of course I've completed the first section, and now I'm going to go on to the second section and do the same thing. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the final and what the, the flower will look like in the end. This is my completed flower. And then the only thing I need to do now is, um, oh, and I forgot to say that when you tie off, it's okay if you use the center for tying off, and then I would just put two back stitches in there too. Or you could actually weave the thread in on the back. Okay, so to tie on with a new thread, I'm gonna do my center. And my center is gonna be either a French knot or a colonial knot, and I'm gonna do French knots today, and we'll do colonial knots in another segment. French knots are easy. You just hold the thread out straight and make a cross with the needle. 
and then wrap the tip counterclockwise and then place it in. And in our flower, we're only putting three in the center. So that's really all there is to it. And these are really simple to do, and it's much better if you draw an actual circle instead of trying to draw each petal, because quite often the petals become um, a little bit different in size than what you actually drew on the fabric. This way you don't have as many uh, lines to cover up. So to tie off on that stitch, you just turn it to the back and bring it under the stitches there. So we're not really going to put any elaborate knot on there because remember, you're going to have a lot of little stitches and it's going to be very secure, Martha. Oh, thank you so much, Wendy. And I just, I just love your beautiful things and, and your wonderful teaching. Thank you. Thank you.